Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Dash. So, okay, I actually had already recorded this video before I went to dinner earlier, but I feel like I have better energy to say it now than I did before because I was like kind of in a rush because I was like, let me just, you know, whatever. But like, nah, like this is our vibe. The nighttime is our vibe. And like, I'm just going to have to rearrange my schedule because y'all know I've put YouTube in my like daily things to do now. And so with it being in my schedule, it is in there at like 11 a.m. And so it's too bright outside. It's still nice looking, but it doesn't like give how this gives. So I think I'll be filming at night and that's just kind of annoying because I'll be doing shit sometimes. So I got to figure that out. But it's worth it y'all got y'all i i know y'all love the vibe like i love the vibe so whatever so in this video we're gonna talk about how to get the attention you deserve so like y'all i mean there's so many things i could say about so many things right but like i just want y'all to like just understand that life is what you choose it to be your happiness is what you choose it to be etc you know um like i told y'all i had that little situation end uh yesterday and today i had a blast <laughs> today i had a blast like look at what the fuck i was just doing living life you know so i'm just like damn i want to talk to my girls now and like really like spread this energy because like i'm in a really good place and just excited about life and what's to come and you girls here for the thrill <laughs> And go keep living so i'm just here to help you stay on your straight and narrow as well and in this video i want to talk to you about getting more attention from like the type of person that you want attention from and just like things that you can do to easily tap into like that girl you know i had one person say like i'm not that girl yet like you're your own that girl and she's in you she's just waiting to come out so this video is going to help you tap into that it's going to help you get in motion it's going to tell you how to walk out the house and break a neck okay so let's get into it Okay, real quick, I told y'all it was going to be a giveaway for the day pass. Basically, if you sign up for coaching in the month of June, that means it's 12 slots because it's three per week. So the girlies who already signed up, kudos to you, sister girl, because that means you're already in the drawing. But basically, three names will be drawn from the 12 um, coaching clients this month, and you will have the opportunity to come to my Lux Fest event for free. Okay, you will have your day pass for the free. So it's basically like a two for one. You get one on one coaching with me and you get to come to the event. So period. Shout out to my mama because it was her idea. So y'all better tell her thank you, honey. Okay. But if you've been considering coaching, this might be your time to do it. It's a two for one, bitch. Okay. But anyway, I want to make sure you guys know that the links are below in the description box. I told you in a previous video that I had not placed the coaching link, but the um, Lux Fest uh, link was there. Now both of them are there. Easy access period okay i am trying a lot of new things so when y'all see me having like long descriptions and like just different stuff i'm trying new things with youtube okay like, period so just so y'all know what's going on okay so now let's get into it okay you want to start getting attention you want to start being desirable literally it starts with a mentality okay like you have to decide that like i am a beautiful beautiful woman i'm i was gonna say the b word because i'm, I'm trying to get out of that i'm trying to get out of that but anyway I am this beautiful woman, and when I walk outside, people lust after me. People stop their cars. People break their necks. People are literally in awe of how beautiful I am and how I radiate this goddess energy, you know? And not only is what I'm saying, this is a true statement that I genuinely want you to feel, and it's a statement that I feel about myself, but that is how people will see you. Like, it is so important to, for you to understand that the perception of yourself is a reflection to other people, okay? Like, if you treat yourself of this standard, that's how people are going to treat you. You know, I always tell y'all, and when we talk about dating and men and stuff, men are always going to treat you. They're going to meet you where you at. They're going to treat you like what you used to being treated to. You know what I'm saying? So you have to set the standard. You can't start the situation lower than your standard and then expect them to go supremely high. You know, or like one thing, people always come to me, you know, say you've been in a relationship with somebody. It's been a struggle relationship for years. And now you just want more. And you're expecting it from that person. I've told y'all, sometimes when you're leveling up, people cannot go with you. Just because you're leveling up and growing doesn't mean that they're leveling up and growing too. Okay? So anyway, go Going back, the mentality is everything. You have to have your mind made up of who you are, what you're about, what you want, what you deal with, everything along those lines, okay? Because other, you're going to get attention from everybody, you know? But at the same time, the people that aren't for you won't even, like, I. this is a horrible example, but this is just an example I'm going to give you. Me and my friend went to the NBA game. It was starting raining on us. So we had to make the Uber go and drop us at CVS and wait for us so we can get some umbrellas. When we got to CVS, it's like a tsunami outside. So it's like, swear like 25 dudes standing outside the store. 
I mean, just dudes that you just, I mean, like gas station dudes. Like, not even ugly ones, but just like, you just know the energy of these dudes. And it's like, they were lusting after us, like with their, like they were just staring. I mean, like, it was like in our face. Like, we walking through them to get to the door. Not one person said a thing. Y'all know. We, y'all know. Saying something will be pointless. Saying something will be a disappointment to yourself. You know what I mean? So, like, you have people in awe, but they still won't. They'll know that's not in my tax bracket. Let me leave that alone. Like, literally, that's the energy, you know? So many people, or so many people will just do compliments and leave it at that. You know how you got the dudes who do the compliments, and then they try to get your number, and then they try to do this? No. They'll just literally admire you and give you a compliment. That happened to me at Trader Joe's. Like, y'all know I have my Trader Joe's routine. One time I had a guy from Trader Joe's come. Like, he was about to clock into work, and I guess I had came earlier. So I was leaving when he was coming. And he just was like, I mean, this was some Alicia Keys shit. Like, you know, I've been seeing you come and get your coffee. Like, he was like, you know, I see you in here every Monday, and I just always hope that you come to my register. And, like, y'all would think it was weird, but it was really, like, the sweetest shit. And I even had one person one time. I rang up, um, well, I had a smoothie and a protein bar, and I told him to leave it out the bag, but he thought that meant leave it out, so he didn't ring it up. And so I was just like, it's cool, whatever. It's fine, don't worry about it. So I go outside, and I'm sitting waiting on my Uber, and here comes a dude, another dude who worked in the store who peeped this shit happening, bringing me my juice. <laughs> like, that I didn't even get to buy. So he bought the juice for me and brought it outside with the receipt. Like, it's the aura, it's the energy. And he didn't do nothing beyond that. It was just a nice, kind gesture that he really didn't have to do, you know? But that's the thing. I want y'all to understand the energy that you exude when you really are in tune with your mentality, who you are, and just, like, how beautiful and powerful that you are. Like, you know, feel yourself. It's important that you feel yourself. And it starts with the mentality. The next one is set your tone and storyline, okay? So, like, when you're meeting new people, it's a fresh start, you know? And I feel like we all live so many lives. And it's like one thing, me, for example, I used to feel pressured. It's like my life is social media. Like I'm on here like the, every day. Like this is my life, you know? This is my career. Um, media will always play a role. And like sometimes it will throw some people off. So I would be a little skeptical about saying, you know, that's what I do at first. But like, you know, that's like not just who I am. Like it's beyond just what the fuck I do for a living like. You know what I mean? So it's like, pick your storyline. What do you tell people about you when you meet them? Who are you, you know? And like, I, mine is very generic now. It's very simple. So much to the point that when somebody actually find out what I got going on, it's like, oh, damn, bitch. <laughs> you, you, somebody else, you know? But like, it's just, a, it's just, this is, this is how one, this is, this is the initial perception I want you to have of me. And this is what I, this is what it is. I decided it. You know what I mean? And I don't want to say it because I don't want y'all using my storyline. Create your own storyline. Okay. I talked to this, to my coaching class about this personally and we create the storyline, you know? Um, but yeah, like within your storyline, you've been on a journey. So like, what are you looking for? You know, one question y'all always come to me asking is like, what do I say when he asks what I'm looking for? What are you looking for, babe? Like, I don't know what the fuck you're looking for. I don't know what will be a benefit to your life. I don't know what you need in this era. I don't know. So, like, you have to know, and then when they ask you, you have to have the answer. But the way you have these answers is by knowing yourself. So many people want upgrades in life and upgrades in different things, but they don't know what they actually want, so they can't even attract it, you know? And the one thing I can say about that is sometimes you do have to experience and see things to know that that's what you may want as well. And I'm not trying to make this a spiritual video, but y'all need to remember jealousy is desire. So if you pay attention to things that trigger jealousy in you, that might be something that you want, you know, or something that you feel a way about. Like, you know, so you just have to pay attention. You have to know exactly what you want. But it all ties into the storyline. It all ties into, like, your initial, like, presentation, you know. When people see this radiation of beautiful energy, they want to know more about the person and what the person has going on. So who are you? You know what I mean? Like, and you don't have to tie that to your career or, like, your successes or, like, what you have and shit, you know? Like, who are you? Like, who are you? Did you this eccentric, beautiful little bitch? Tell me about her. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Next, carry yourself as the woman who would get attention from the type of man you want pursuing you. Okay, so, like, this goes back to, like, me saying the shit about the Crocs in the other video. I don't want a man to ever, and I don't own any. So, you know, and this is something else I wanted to say. I think Crocs are cute on kids. That's it. Like, my niece has some. They're so cute. She just run around in them bitches. It's perfect, you know? But, like, she's a kid. She's five, you know? Okay. So, yeah. Sorry. We got a little interrupted, y'all. Mm, I feel like every video is getting better. I know y'all peeped the lighting in this one. Um, but the microphone is connected and, like, something weird popped up. But anyway. 
Okay, so carry yourself as the woman who will get attention from the man who you would wish to be pursuing you. Okay, so you know you want a certain type of man. I've told y'all this back in the dating videos. Okay, if you know you want to attract a certain type of man, you want to attract a man of value, you want to attract a man that's reserved, you want to attract a man with good, high vibrational energy. You need to mirror that. You need to be the person that you want to attract because you're always going to attract what you are. So if you're constantly attracting things that you do not want, then it may be time for you to make some adjustments with yourself, okay? And then going back, specific types of men. If we're talking about you attracting a certain type of rich man, there's usually a certain type of woman that a rich man goes after. Do you align with that type of woman? Are, are things about you, and it's not even necessarily image and stuff, the things about you as a person, the things that will be required of the relationship, do you align with those same things? If not, then how do you expect to attract and not only attract, but keep the man that you wish to pursue you? You know what I mean? You kind of got to bring it down like to that depth. And then you have to understand like you need to carry yourself at this standard, this mentality that we set in step one all the time. Like in that, this next, these next ones are going to get really into the whole, like, you know, getting the attention and vibrating in the attention but it's super important that you understand carrying yourself as that woman and consistently carrying yourself as that woman don't stop carrying yourself as that woman once you got the man so yeah you have to carry yourself as a woman who's used to getting attention like you can't act like this is this is new like and then you can't like stop that like energy once you got them you know men love the chase never forget that i had a man personally tell me how much men love the chase and how much they're done after they have won the chase or after they've gotten what they wanted you know and it's such a tricky situation um especially when you in like a realm of dealing with certain types of men but you have to pay attention and that's how you stay in control you are not impressed and that goes to our next one which is hold your standards you shouldn't be easily impressed with what your new normal is this is your new normal this isn't you still trying to figure out new vibes and like trying out new things and dating new types and mm, you're not teetering and tottering bitch this is your new normal this is your new life this is what you attract this is what you have this is how you date this is what you eat this is where you go this is how you dress i don't even know if i said that twice but you know what i'm saying this is your new normal like you can't act like this shit is outrageous normalizing it it's like a mind it's part of the fucking manifestation process it's normalizing and believing it is really yours you know now it's here you can't act shocked you can't you can't fuck it up by by being so impressed by it you know there's always more you know and it's not to say that you shouldn't be grateful and content sometimes with the things that you are given but when you are dealing with a man and you want that man to lust after you you want to get the attention that you deserve you cannot give him that feeling of he got you that he won until that ring is on your finger. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, understand. I told y'all this since, like, 2020. You are not easily impressed. Like, this is your new normal. Even if you're excited about it, that's fine. Be excited about it. Enjoy it. Have a good time. You know what I mean? Period. Live your life. But at the same time, understand that this is your regular. And this is what is just for you. Because this is the life you live. This is you and your goddess element. Period. Okay, another one that is super important is your energy should give I'm good and possibly unavailable, okay? Like, your energy should never just be that you're so open, you're so available, you're so single. Like, no, bitch, men are constantly on you. Men are constantly pursuing you, and that is what will happen once you get in tune with this energy. You will constantly be pursued after. You will constantly be lusted after in several different ways, you know what I'm saying? But it's important that you know that in here and that you never portray that to a man. Like, you're not waiting on him. Bitch, you got so many options over here that if he don't step up to the plate, he could come back and you might have a ring on your finger. And that is really the vibes. That is really the energy. But, like, you have to really get in that element of understanding. It all goes back to, number one, with mentality. Like, it's all about where you feel you're at. And I hate you keep using the term, it's where you feel you deserve. Because me and my mom had a conversation about deserve, the word deserve and it kind of shifted my thoughts a bit on using the term deserve because, of course, we fucking deserve it, you know? But, like, like you have to, like, really, like, understand, like, your energy. He has to feel that you're good with or without him. He needs to present the benefit that he brings to your life, you know? But instead, y'all be going about it all around, all around, oh, I can't even talk, all the wrong, like, once again save your energy you want him to save you 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 want this you want that baby i'm good with it without you you know what i mean I, i'm the added benefit like you know that's like switch the roles y'all be tripping you know what i mean and it's you can't be tripping when you really want the attention when you really want to be the star you know what i mean you want you want a man to lust after you you want him to want to do anything for you 
Give him the energy. Tell him, I mean, not tell him. Give him the energy within your energy. Like, literally within your energy, your energy should be telling him that I want you to show out. Show me why. Take me out of the game. Take me out. You know what I mean? Like, period. Take me out. You want me, you want me, you want me to yourself, you know, you you want me to be your lady exclusively. Take me out the game, baby. You know, that's the energy you need to always give. And then of course this bounces into our last one. All men are optional. You are not looking for a savior. May the odds ever be in the best man's favor. If you live in the energy, if you decide to live in the energy of may the odds ever be in the best man's favor. You're the fucking bachelorette around this bitch. Like the show. I haven't watched The Bachelorette, so this, I don't know if this is the perfect analysis. Or I don't know if that's the perfect analogy. But you're the one that everybody's lusting over. They're trying to prove themselves to you. You know what I mean? Y'all are all options. It's so many of you successful, wonderful men. But it's literally one goddess queen right here. You know what I mean? And of course, for you, it'll be you're the one goddess queen. Like... That's the energy you need to vibrate in. And the ones that it scares away or the ones that get insecure by that are not the ones for you. The ones that you really want to deal with are the ones who get excited because men don't want what everybody can have. You know what I mean? Like, you are top-notch goods, babe. Top-notch goods. And it's up to you to decide that you're top-notch goods. And when you know you're top-notch goods, nothing can really fuck with you. Like, when you get in that element of understanding, you truly learn that when things don't work, it's because this shit isn't good enough for me and not vice versa, okay? So, yeah, I wanted to talk to y'all in this video. Well, I literally just read it the whole video and I actually like it better already. I haven't even edited it, duh. But, um, yeah, like, I had a really good day today. Um, went out with a friend and had a blast with them, you know? And, yeah, living life, period. Um... <laughs> Anyway, y'all, once again, the links you need are in the description box. If you have been asking me about dating sites, the dating sites I currently recommend are in the description box below, of course. And if you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Leave me a comment, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next video.